For a while, I've been on the lookout for the best gaming controller for the Tesla Model 3, especially when you're doing things like this, when you're charging for long periods of time. And I think I've found it. Hey, welcome to the channel. Now, if you've been watching my videos for some time, you'll know my gaming controller of choice up until now has been the Powerray gaming controller. It's kind of like a replica of an Xbox controller, but it is wired. It works perfectly well with the Tesla. But I've been on a bit of a mission to find a better controller, a controller that takes up a lot less room. This is pretty thick. And if you wanna have two of these in your car, they don't really fit in the glove box all that well. One will fit in okay, and maybe you can fit another one in here. But I want something a bit more compact and a controller I could do a bit more with. So I reached out to a company called Jawa as I saw, um, I think I saw like an Instagram ad for their controllers. And here they are, they're absolutely fantastic. They sent me a two pack through to review and I said to them, I would be completely honest. Please do send them through. I'm gonna go through a few controllers and then just do the video on the best one. I don't really wanna um, slam any others. I just wanna really sh sort of show up the ones I've found to be the best. And honestly, after using these for a few weeks, I can honestly say these are probably the best controllers for the Tesla Model 3, just for a few reasons. Number one, they're completely wireless. So pairing the controllers is super easy. All you need to do is tap the car on the bottom right of your Tesla screen, then go up to Bluetooth here, and then you can pair your device. What I like to do, I like to have it in Bluetooth mode. So you wanna make sure this little switch is one click to the right, so it goes to the X. And then all you need to do is turn the controller on, and then just hit the sync button there, and you'll see that your controller starts to flash. Next, hit the Bluetooth up here on the top of your car, and we're gonna add a new device. It says, before we add your device, I'm gonna press the sync again, be sure it's turned on and discoverable, and then click start search. There we go, and you can see it comes up with Xbox wireless controller. Simply tap that to pair, and then within a second or two, there we go, it gives a little vibration, and then we're paired. So now let's go to games and try this out. Let's go to the classic beach buggy racing. Play game. Press OK, and let's get going. There we go, so you can see the controller works absolutely perfectly. The analog stick works great. You can hit the A button in a second. Boom. Okay, now let's maybe try Cuphead. Now what you'll notice as well, it will say one controller connected. So you can see before you go into a game that this will work with your controller. So let's hit play game. Next what I like, it is actually a very, very slim profile. Just look at that. As you can see here, the Xbox controller is quite beefy, quite chunky there. And the Jawa is nice and thin. Just look at that. So this is super handy for a couple of reasons. Of course, if you're using this inside your Tesla Model 3, it's gonna use less storage space. Also great if you wanna use the second controller as well. But if you are using this with an iPad or an iPhone like I am, you can just fit this pretty much in a pocket or in any bag that you're taking with you on the go. It doesn't really weigh too much either, so it's not gonna add a lot to your travels if you're thinking you might just play a couple of games on your next train journey. This means you can easily fit two of them in your glove box, or I just chuck mine in here. So when I'm at a charger or a supercharger, I can play one player if I'm on my own, if I'm you know, charging for quite some time, or me and the wife can play a two player game of beach buggy racing. And you can actually use two controllers at the same time. Now, if you do want to use both of these controllers at the same time, you have to either use them wired or you have to disconnect your phone from Bluetooth temporarily because the Tesla can only handle um, a certain amount of Bluetooth devices at one time. So, not a massive biggie, you could use one Bluetooth and one wired, that works fine as well. But overall, I'm really, really impressed. It works really great in the hand. The controller buttons are nice, it's kind of got that retro feel. Uh, but some of the other controllers that I used felt very cheap, the buttons aren't very tactile, and this did answer all of those problems. The buttons feel good, they feel as good as an Xbox controller. The triggers are nice, the analog sticks work. Now, another big advantage for the Jawa controllers, and something that for me put this above any of the other controllers, is the fact that you can multi-connect this to other devices, and it works with 
iOS, iPad, Android as well. So you can take these controllers and use these with your iPad. iPad now supports gaming controllers and you can really play some great gaming titles like Call of Duty on the iPad. So you can simply flick the switch here to pair them over or you can just you know, Bluetooth pair each time you wanna use it with a different device. And it's been really, really cool. I've been using this a lot on my Tesla, but actually I've been using it quite a lot uh, because I've been on a few train journeys recently, just using this with my iPhone. So if you've ever tried gaming on your iPhone, you'll know that it's actually a little bit finicky with the sort of on-screen controllers. So just having your iPad or your iPhone just sort of resting up and then using a proper gaming controller really is pretty cool. It's nice if you wanna play a driving game or something like Call of Duty if you're on the go. Uh, what I like about these as well, the price isn't too bad. Obviously, they're not the cheapest because they are quite a, a premium controller, but they're a lot cheaper than buying an official Xbox or PlayStation 5 controller as well. Now, what don't I like about this controller? Well, not a lot, to be honest. It's a really, really good controller, but there are a couple of things that I think may put a couple of people off. It's obviously a very flat controller. It's still got a nice grip to it, though, so I, I quite like it, but some people may be used to the big, fat grips, may see this a little differently. The second is the triggers. They don't actually have that kind of resistive trigger that you have on an Xbox or a PlayStation where when you press the trigger down, it's kind of got uh, different levels of feedback. So let's say you're accelerating in a game on an Xbox controller, you can very slowly accelerate until the button reaches the bottom of the controller. On this, it really is just click on and click off, which is fine for the Tesla because most of the games, or if not all the games on the Tesla, use that kind of functionality you can't really like accelerate slowly um, even on beach buggy racing I didn't find you could really do that with the Xbox controller okay so I just want to say a big thank you to Jawa for sending these controllers out if you want one I'll put a link in the description and there is a discount code in there as well so thanks for watching check out the controllers and I'll see you in the next video